Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Outer Worlds. I was about to say Byzantium. <laughs> I mean, it works either way. We are gonna go kill someone. <laughs> because she's an alien invader. Right, Ellie? Right, Pavate? I don't think Bavati's convinced. <laughs> I don't think Ellie is convinced either. <laughs> Let's go Advice kill us a lizard queen. Or alien, rather. <clears throat> oh, hold on. Cleaning machine! Level 22 short cannon. I suppose that's not too bad. 20. <laughs> level 28. Oh my goodness. What level am I? I can't remember. Uh, I think we gotta go this way. What's gone into block mine? Advanced defensive helmet golden, elite troop armor gold, light control armor gold, and light control helmet. You sure have seen a lot of the colony, huh, Dr. Fenhill? Ellie. And sure, but most of it looks the same from inside a ship. Sorry, Dr. Ellie. Still, though, don't you find it thrilling? Be in space? Look, it's just Ellie. Mm, I don't think Ellie and Pavati are getting along well. <laughs> Dr. Chatrand. I'm here to end your life. <laughs> You're an alien. <coughs> At least that's what some people think. Doctor. I think the previous gold plated too. Doctor Chatrand. Dr. Chatrand. Oh. She's downstairs. Or he. How do I get downstairs? Do I just go this way? Seal. Bugger. Is there no way to get downstairs? Did I... <laughs> Did I miss the elevator or something? Ooh, a terminal. Logs... HRS 1080! My worst suspicions are confirmed. HRS 1084 was ransacked. Who knows what became of the suspension tanks, my team. As usual, my handlers on the board are no help. Until I deliver results they can replicate, package, and disperse to the general population, they desire only silence and obedience from the likes of me. Bama. <coughs> I've received no messages from the Cascadia lab. I can hold out hope that a mere salvager Happen upon HRS 1084 and not a saboteur. Hmm. Yet another relocation. Circumstances hardly... Circumstances were hardly optimal at the primary and secondary labs. Political instability pulled Cascadia out from under me. And some combination of cabinet fever and paranoia soured HRS 1084. Perhaps my home in steadfast... 
Byzantium will offer the retreat on need. Though on this working alongside colleagues, I know that I hardly deserve the wounds that I so endured, the wounds I lost. But our work continues in isolation and loneliness, perhaps as it should. Mm, not really. I mean, everybody needs uh, fun co-workers and social interaction. Ever since our species became aware of itself, we imposed our superiority on the worlds we touched. Colonialism worked for a time, but our eldest trick didn't work in Halcyon, did it? Now we are the ones who must bow to a force greater than ourselves. We are the ones who must adapt. Update. Wine makes me too introspective. Perhaps I'll balance it out with vodka. <laughs> Perhaps you shouldn't get drunk. Lab access sealed. Well, let's unseal the entrance. Yeah, yeah. Alright, you two. Get ready. I keep hitting X, and I keep thinking I have a PS4 controller. But instead I hit A. Doctor, ooh, wow, this is a cool little basement. Uh, that they that looks like a uh, personal guard detail. That's far enough. What are you doing here? How did you even get inside? I hacked my way inside. Billy Hagen sent me to kill you. If anyone ever tries to off me. I hope they do it with the same professional courtesy. <laughs> Hagen. I've never heard of her. Is she from the board? Damn it. I knew this would happen. Lilia runs Sublight Salvage on Groundbreaker. Good boss, bit of a live wire. <laughs> That's a gentlemanly way of putting it, Captain. She's obsessed with she is indeed. This is utter nonsense. I've never even been to Groundbreaker. You've been to Cascadia and Station 1084. I know all your dirty secrets. What happened to the team? Tell me you didn't move their suspension tanks. Uh, your sublight took over the lab, your human aquariums are probably just office decor. <laughs> Small consolation. My team, the finest minds of their generation, reduced to salvage. What were they trying to prove by experimenting on themselves? We were trying to prove that the colony could survive the crisis bearing down on us. Uh, what crisis? What are you doing, Doctor? This information is beyond classified. You can write me up in your report. It hardly matters. I'm researching a new way to feed the colony. The crops we transplanted from Earth don't give us the nutrients we need. Our colonists might not realize it yet, but they're starving. So this is all about vegetables? Our produce might get us through the day, but we're getting weaker as a species, and sicker. Is that why everyone in Edgewater was so sick? Not a plague, but vegetables? The lack of usable nutrients is compromising our immune systems. Under these conditions, even the common cold could seem like a plague. The food we grow here barely sustains human life. The colony won't last under these conditions. So the board let me approach the problem from a different angle. I believe that I could adapt humans to live on Halcyon's terms. That I could change us. Give us the ability to derive sustenance from the nutrients the food does have. Hmm. Adaptation didn't save your research team. Not for lack of trying. I wanted to save them all, but I wasn't strong enough. I'm 
surprised you don't have more support from the board. <laughs> there are other teams. We didn't want to experiment on human test subjects, so we used the only resources we had. Each other. I'm desperate. I've already asked all the best institutes on Earth for help. Years ago, we sent a message out on the Cornelius Vanderbilt, but heard nothing back. Cornelius Vanderbilt? Question mark? One of the two Earth Directorate assault cruisers, assigned to patrol the Halcyon system. It's been missing for over two years now. They never re-established contact after the skip to Earth. Of course, the board is keeping that under wraps. Imagine losing something with that many guns on it. How'd you lose half a pair of ships like it were a sock? The board is uneasy about letting the colony know, seeing as half of their military force vanished without a trace. Half? That single ship was half their military force? Good god, that- I, I'd probably keep that under wraps too, just for fear of embarrassment. <laughs> So, uh, hey Peachy, where'd that, uh, where'd that huge battleship with half your military force go? <laughs> My girlfriend Danny asks, and I just kind of grin crookedly. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> I may have temporarily misplaced it. In fucking space! <laughs> <laughs> Half their military force. Good grief. Lily has sent me after a conspiracy, but it looks like I found a cover up instead. I prefer if you didn't use my name when you talk about this. My contract has a list of very terrible consequences for breaking secrecy. Uh. The board wants to adapt the entire population of Halcyon. Once we can replicate a success, the board will move to rewire our nucleon. With any luck, our next generation will be eating and thriving off Halcyon crops. Knowing what the board considers a success, that doesn't give me a lot of hope. You really think the board got our best interests at heart? I mean, they say, but I'm just not sure. We haven't made enough strides to advance the plan. Hardly any at all. But we have to keep trying. Enough talk. Where do we go from here? You came to kill me. I assume that's still on the table. Please don't. If I die, there's no one who can reproduce our work. Every sacrifice will have been for nothing. And we'll be no closer to a solution that feeds the colony. Hmm. <coughs> Papati, how do you think we should handle it? Or no, wait, you know Phileas Wells. If you work with him, I'll spare you. <laughs> well, that's just gonna make her say, yeah, I do know him. <laughs> Papati, how do you think we should handle this? It seems like she's trying to help, Captain. Honest help. Ain't many in the colony doing that. We should let her try. I hope you know what you're doing, Captain. I leave it in your hands. What do you think, Ellie? I try not to, at least when it comes to the moral dilemmas. Lilia Hagen's a useful ally to have, but I'll back you up either way. Everything I did was for the good of the colony. Consider that. Ah, uh, fucking moral dilemmas. I don't like it. I can't. No, I'm getting nervous. I don't know which one to choose. I did so well in the past. With the exception of uh, Edgewater. <laughs> And, uh, killing the, uh, the manager. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry, Mr. Manager. You know Phileas Wells? If you work with him, I'll spare you. The one on the wanted posters? They say he's an anarchist. A madman, a butcher. I'll do it. Doctor! Oh, sweet! What choice do I have, Commander? That didn't take much convincing. <laughs> <laughs> if 
working with Wells is the only way I can save the colony, then I will damn well do it. I need to get out of here. Phineas can contact me when he's ready to work together. Sweet. For now, I'd better pack up the lab and head somewhere discreet. Not so fast. Captain, what you just learned is beyond your clearance. Hell, it's beyond mine. Give me one reason why I should let you walk out of here alive. Because the fate of the colony is in my hands. <laughs> I can't. I, I can just imagine, and I totally would too, saying that to his face with the smuggiest grin I can pull off. <laughs> an inflated sense of self-importance but that doesn't make you wrong <laughs> I'll move along. the doc has a lot of work ahead of her tidying up and such <laughs> because the fate of the colony is in my head Palming herself and just saying, Well, the colony's fucking doomed. <laughs> Let this playthrough of Outer Worlds be a cautionary tale of, n of letting the fate of everything be in Peachy's hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> Attend the audition. <laughs> oh man, Where, where's the audition? Oh, there it is. <laughs> nice thing about traveling with the captain, we meet all sorts of new people. Sure, best part is when they pay us. We never really had new folks in the water, except the captain. It's kind of hard to make new friends when everyone's already decided they don't like you. Could be a favor in disguise. A lot of people out here ain't that nice. Vending machines! And with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Again, I- a level 30 plasma launcher? Good god. Yeah, I'd like to thank everyone for, <laughs> for watching. I- I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoy the next video as well. <laughs> Choose. <laughs> oh god. If the fate of anything is in Peachy's hands, it's... It's immediately doomed. <laughs> it is... Guaranteed to go sour. 